Today, I would love for everybody to get a chance to know you and your story and how you've gotten into the position you're in today. So you have had many challenges that you've overcome with your own health, and now you live this lifestyle yourself. It's one of the uh, one of my favorite parts about our entire coaching program is that our, our coaches are doing this. They are living the lifestyle. They're not asking our clients to do anything that they're not doing themselves. So why don't we start from the beginning? And you tell me, you know, you had some kidney challenges as a kid and you learned something there. So what happened there? Yes, at, at 11 years old, I, I was raised um, in Jamaica. And at 11 years old, my kidney failed. And um, I was admitted in a hospital for 45 days. And while I was there, there was a um, young lady that came up to me. And back then in the Caribbean, nutritionists wear white hat, white outfits. So I thought she was a nurse. And she told me that um, while I was in a hospital, I'm only supposed to drink this amount of fluids. Um, my meats are not going to be any more than one ounce. And I was like, what does my food has to do with my healing? And she says, yes, food does have a lot to do with your healing. And then I asked her, I said, what do you do? And she says, I'm a nutritionist. From that day until now, Robbie, that's why I said I want to be what I want to do what she does. And then after I was discharged from the hospital, I, my, my kidney cleared up and I went home. And after two days, the whole cycle started back again. My kidneys went right back failing where um, no fluids leave in my body. And so my great, great grandmother said, do not take her back to the hospital. I want you to go um, to the market every day and get fresh pumpkin, fresh um, there's a thing um, they call chocho or chohocho. I, I'm not sure what they call it here. And um, every greens, every, every fruits and veggies that you can think of. And she put them all together. And that's why I did for a few weeks. And at the age that I am today, I've never gone back to the doctor to say, you know, this is what I need to be doing or medication got me there, food. And she actually, something else she actually added, she added dandelion tea. So every day I would drink this dandelion tea wow. and, and I would drink that along with the food. And, and, and as I get older and I, I came to migrate to the United States, my first thing was I want to be a nutritionist. And at that time, my mother didn't know what a nutritionist was and I didn't myself know. And so went through high school and then decided to transition to college. And I told them, I want to be a nutritionist. And that's what got me here today. And, um, but the, the thing about being as a nutritionist. That's amazing. Um, yes. In the regular system is you are taught to, um, certain things, you know, eat this much of protein. And, and as soon as you see protein, it has to be meat. So that's what you were taught for, um, for the five years going to school and, when um when I got to the level that I have gotten now and I and being as a dietitian and I started to um um excel in my career and you know and one day I was just sitting down and my pressure I felt that pressure in my head and I was like what is that and I was sitting with um a dietitian and she says let's go get a pressure test it was like 199 over 100 and something and I was like me I don't eat junk. I'm so particular, Robbie, of what I eat. So how did I get here? You know, yeah. I, I, I... Okay, so, so this is a fascinating story here, Paula. So, so basically, you learn a, as a child, like you're 11 years old, you have this experience with being in the hospital for 45 days because your kidneys are not functioning properly. Then you go home, you continue eating some of the things that led to the kidney problems in the first place. And you're like, wait a minute, wait a minute. We got to like go back to whatever they were having you do in the hospital. Um, and so your grandmother's like, okay, look, we got it. We got to like fix this diet and do the dandelion tea. So mm -hmm. you do that and then you don't have to go back to the hospital. So you've, you got that under control. Then this is kind of your inspiration to go become a nutritionist and go to, go to school for this. Mm -hmm. But if I'm understanding correctly, you didn't necessarily stay on this path that you were doing when you were 11. Like other foods started to come in. Yeah. And is is that why high blood pressure came? Is that, that that's what happened? Okay. Yes. Yes, definitely, Robbie. Um, that's such a great point to bring out because 
um, as a dietitian, you know, you're, you're, you're taught, to, um, you know, a fast food is, is not the best food and this is not the best food, but you were never taught that whole food plant-based diet was a diet that can heal, can reverse um, diabetes, can reverse high blood pressure and even prevent type 2 diabetes, pre-diabetes and high blood pressure. So, so coming out of school as a dietitian, that's what you're taught. Um, eat, you know, two to three ounces of meat and eat this. And my patients, Robbie, was getting worse. They, they were getting worse, Robbie. They, 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 that's they, not fun. That's I, not fun. <laughs> it, it's, it, it's depressing. You ever hear depression? It is depressing when the client comes to you and you're supposed to help them. You're supposed to help them to get their better health because they don't know. So they're coming to us as professional to teach them the right thing. But how could you teach somebody that you don't know yourself? And that's where the danger comes in because you're still, you're given, you're given what you thought is the right thing. So then you now start believing a lie for a truth. And that was the revelation. And when it hit me and my blood pressure is going up and now guess what, Robbie? I wake up and my blood sh sugar is now 120, 115. And I'm like, wait a minute, how is this possible? I went to my healthcare provider. You know what they told me, Robbie? The first thing they told me, I need metformin. I need to be on metformin. And I said, but why wow. am I developing diabetes? I live in this type of life. You know what they told me? Let's take a history. Your grandmother had diabetes. Your mother has diabetes. Your aunt, and they go list, list, list down. I said, but why does that mean I have to have it? They said, well, you just have to go on metformin. So because I figure, well, an endocrinologist should know better. So I made an appointment. I went to an endocrinologist, Robbie. And that was the exact thing they told me. I'm sorry, you need to be a metformin. I said, no, there has to be a reason, an underlining cause why this is happening. And so anyway, I had, um, I started to do some research. I started to dig in the research and Robbie, it goes back a hundred years almost that a whole food plant-based diet can reverse <laughs> sure high blood pressure and diabetes. So now I decided to back out of the regular system and I started to teach my client now about whole food plant-based. And my, my patients actually start reversing their diabetes. And then one day when I was doing my research, I found you and Robbie mastering diabetes. And I was like, oh my goodness, they found out what a hundred years ago that you need to do to reverse diabetes and high blood pressure. And Robbie, literally, literally my numbers start reversing itself. My blood pressure, 115 over 70, my blood sugar 80 in the morning and i'm like oh my goodness this works and i had a few pounds that i need to drop because you know <laughs> I, 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 i'm gonna just say it, robbie i'm gonna t i'm just gonna say the truth as an african-american sometimes we say oh you know we can have a few pounds and still be healthy no so i start believing that that if i'm 20 pounds yeah. overweight it's okay because you know, I, I, I look good. I, and I'm like, no, Robbie, when I went on the whole food plant base, the 20 yeah. pounds just start melting off of me. And I'm like, why are we not teaching? Paul, I, I, I love this. Okay. So you're an amazing example of what's possible, but I, I just, I want to take a, a quick step back just to sort of like understand the timeline here so we yeah. can all learn. So you, you go to school to become a registered dietitian and you're, you're getting a standard education. Yeah. And then for, for how many years were you following more like a standard diet? And, and what, what would you eat that ended up causing you to develop high blood pressure and prediabetes? Well, what we do in, in our culture, because, you know, it's culture, we eat for culture. 
We don't get together for culture. We eat for culture. And that is, I think, one of the biggest downfall. We would eat, um, for anybody who, who know West Indians, we eat, you know, oxtail and we, we you know, curry goat, all these, these things. And we, we do these as celebration at weddings and all these get together. And one of the main thing, Robbie, and I will highlight this, after I had start reversing my high blood pressure and my diabetes, because I do a lot of um, mission trips in the Caribbean, I would go to the Caribbean like almost every two months. Anytime I go, I come back, my numbers start going back up again. And I'm like, especially my, my, um, my blood sugar. Mm. And I'm like, what, what am I doing different? You know what I was doing different, Robbie? In my yard, I have a avocado tree. You're, you're... <laughs> and I have coconut, uh -huh. unlimited coconut. So when I get there, yeah. I am eating the healthy fats. So I'm eating coconut, avocado, nuts. And then when I come back, my numbers start spiking. And that's when I realized that fat, whether it is the coconut or the avocado is a nut, if you're in insulin resistance, no way. You have got to let go of some of those things. And I proved that to myself, that that was what, for the moment I did that, no more problem. I go to the Caribbean, go to family function, no issue with my blood sugar the next day.